calling out around the world. Are you ready for a brand new beat? Summer's here and the time is right for dancing in the street. They're dancing in Chicago, down in New Orleans, in New York City. All we need is music, sweet music. There'll be music everywhere. There'll be records playing and body swaying. We're dancing in the street. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, family. It doesn't matter what you wear, just as long as you are there. Come on, every guy's too early. Anyway, listen, I have been looking um, at the mission statement of Adolf, the Advocacy Foundation, right? And I thought about that State of the Union address that Joe Biden made last night. And because so many black folk are disgruntled with, um, you know, Joe Biden, a lot of them just refuse to vote in the Democratic Party. Um, it amazes me. It amazes me that black people would rather talk about their conservative issues as opposed to getting behind an idea, a designation for ethnic protection for us. I mean, because it really doesn't matter whether you call yourself a black conservative, a black Republican, your ass still catching hell, and you're going to catch it. Until these people are held accountable to what for what they did to us. They're doing everything around it as opposed to making it right. The only way things gonna get right is when you if when you do right by us. And that's something they don't seem to want to do. And neither of course uh, that MAGA base thinks it's just a ridiculous idea and they have no idea where this ideology comes from um, and they're too dumb enough to of course do any research why we would ask this but I too believe that President Biden must direct Congress to propose and deliver to his desk a federally led administered reparations package that identifies a definite start date with no fixed ending date. President Biden must commit to seeing the act faithfully faithfully executed. And at a minimum, the reparation package should prioritize cash payments totaling $20 trillion to American descendants of slavery together with target policies and protections the redistribution measures will be ongoing and must remain in effect until, at the very least, the wealth gap between white American Adolf and Adolf is closed. Now, a lot of people think that the reason why they're letting all these people in here is because they don't want to deal with us. They'd rather deal with anything and anybody except for what happened to us and what they did to us and how it was gov government-sanctioned thievery, government-sanctioned murder, government-sanctioned burning down towns and uh, villages and 
when black people begin to prosper. Nobody wants to deal with that. So see, now it's at Biden's lap because these folks really want us to be their perpetual whipping post. And because of their fragility, they can't handle hearing the truth. They'd rather just throw all the books out and burn them. <laughs> or throw the baby out with the bathwater. But I contend ADOS and ADOS affairs are going to be dealt with. They're going to be dealt with. Or this country is going to be destroyed from within. Because you can't keep, I mean, you can't keep putting people in jail for thievery and when your whole history has been nothing but thievery. At some point, that comes back to bite you in the behind. You can't do that. Or you're going to have people dancing in the streets. And it doesn't matter what they wear. <laughs> they yeah, yeah, will be there. It don't matter. The office must be also charged with the collection of information and studies regarding stolen wealth. Okay? By the way of destruction of black businesses, stolen intellectual property, predatory lending, and the reddening, re, I mean redlining of housing and insurance policies. Should Congress fail to act, President Biden got to create an, the office by executive order. So, to all my fellow ADOS people who said, who think they their um, salvation is in conservative politics. For all of my black folk who think that voting for Donald Trump is the way to go, their agenda is not your agenda. Their reality is not your reality. And by God, who going to pay for all the stolen and destruction of our ancestors? Who going to pay for it? Especially when you got Jews looking at you and telling you every day, this will never happen again. You, you, I, I got to know that you got a, a backbone back there and not a tail that's stuck in between your kulu. I don't know. What are your thoughts on reparations? Do you think black people deserve it? Do you think we deserve it? Do you think that ADOS uh, people, uh, the descendants of slavery, should I, I just, just identify? with the tribe that they belong to and realize that we've been enslaved throughout American history from the 1600s to the 1900s to the present through Jim Crow, mass incarceration, emancipation, proclamation, declaration of the independence. We still are enslaved. And y'all ass is still jumping on the gravy train wagon talking about some Republican, Democrat, I want to know what's your real thoughts. Forget about your party affiliation. You don't think that we owe nothing? Let me hear it. I'm, I'm anxious. <laughs> so with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. I'll see you in the next video.